Hey there, how's it going fellow gamers? Ender915 here, bringing you some gameplay TDM on Frost. It's one of the new DLC maps, one of four. Two are remakes, one's from Black Ops, one's from World of War. This one's a completely new map, which I actually enjoy. I actually enjoy all the maps. They're all pretty well balanced, except for Pod. I do not like Pod. Every time I play it, it seems to be camper friendly and uh, tra spawn trapping friendly as well. I'm I can already tell I'm not gonna like Pod, but anyways, I won't be playing Black Ops for too much longer until Ghost comes out. I'm pretty sure everybody's super pumped about Ghost. I know I am, especially the big news about dedicated servers. Can't wait for that. I've seen uh, several videos of their commentators talking about Ghost and all this stuff and so forth, and they you know talk about how it's gonna have get dedicated servers, but they really don't explain much. And I do see a lot of people put in comments like, "What the hell is a dedicated server?" There's um, pretty, I'll try to go ahead and explain as best as I could. Dedicated servers pretty much eliminate, well, they don't eliminate lag. You're still going to have lag no matter what. Um, it helps with lag, makes it fairer. Well, let me go back a little further. All the older Call of Duties on console, at least, have been on a host instead of a server in other words whenever the game starts it gives it like I can end up being host and everybody's playing off of pretty much my connection and you all know what host migration is that's pretty much whenever the game starts to lag and it migrates to another player that's connections better and all the other old Call of Duties whenever you were hosting you were pretty much gonna rape because you had the best connection therefore you see everybody slightly faster before they see you and um, in this latest Black Ops, in Black Ops 2, they did something with called like lag compensation. So that way host wouldn't have this advantage. They kind of reversed it. So now when you do have that um, host or lag compensation, you kind of get screwed over. I'm pretty sure you know what I mean. You go into a game and you light somebody up with bullets and they just don't drop. Um, that's pretty much that lag compensation. Now what dedicated servers do is it makes it fair across the board. You're not playing off of a person's connection anymore. You're playing off of a server out there dedicated to hosting the game. What this does is it eliminates host migrations. It reduces lag. It, uh, like I said, it pretty much makes it fair across the board. It's, it's definitely going to be a lot funner. Um, probably reduce the whole getting killed around corners kind of thing. You know, you run around the wall and you're getting shot and you you pretty much get around the wall but in their kill feed or in their, their kill cam you never made it on the other side um dedicated servers can't wait yep that's my yeah i can go a lot more technical into it but honestly i don't know that much more <laughs> all right guys the gameplay is coming in to an end here and uh i'll just go ahead and explain my setup real quick using the msmc it took me forever to get to know how to say that gun i always wanted to say mc ms blah 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 but yes msmc with a silencer and a grip and i'm rolling along with the ghost and some of you may not like that may not like the fact that i'm using a silencer and ghost but it's i'm as you can tell in this gameplay i was never camping i was always running around and that's never bad you always want to get behind the enemy like that now when you use silencer and ghost and you sit in the corner that's when it gets annoying Anywho, as you can tell, I'm also using the Fast Hands with the Flashbang C4. I love my C4. And I'm pretty sure I, use, I was using Dexterity on this one. But that's pretty much my setup. And you saw the killstreaks as well. And I went flawless. Yay!